So today's video, I'm going to be showing you what I would do if I was going to school, kind of like a back to school, going to school tutorial. Um, it's not the most natural, but it's pretty natural and easy for me. This is kind of what I do when I'm in a rush to do my makeup. I hope you enjoy this and stay tuned if you want to see how I got this look. So for skin, I'm going to be using the Cause RX. Um, make me a lovely cushion. This packaging is so cute. That's why I haven't thrown out the box, but I probably should But it's really cute. So I wanted to keep it. It has SPF 50 PA++++. I don't really know what the PA++++ means, but I'm guessing that's a good thing Oh, this is what the cushion looks like It's not like a typical cushion because the more you squeeze out the more comes out uh, I don't really know how to explain this, but the typical cushion, it's like the whole entire sponge is already soaked in the foundation or BB cream, whatever. But this one, it's not, so that's why it kind of looks empty, but it's not empty. It's not empty or dried out, it just looks like that. This cushion looks really nice, but the thing is, it's sticky, so you definitely have to set it. Unless you do like the glow, then you don't have to, or if you have dry skin, something like that. But um, I'm just going to be setting it just because I don't have dry skin. I have normal to oily skin, so I'm using my Polish Choice Resist Flawless Finish Powder. And I'm using this e.l.f. Perfect Foundation Brush, but I really like this brush just because it can get into all these corners really well. And then I'm going to use this e.l.f. powder brush. It's a really good brush for liquid foundation or just powdering your face like I am now. And I'm just lightly powdering the edges of my face just because this cushion, again, is sticky so I don't want it to stick onto my hair. I'm going to move on to eyes and eyebrows. I'm using the VDL Expert Color iBook 6.4 number 1. It's the, I don't know, peach colored one. Before I use it, I just wanted to say, um, I've been kind of on the fence about purchasing this palette, but Style Korean, a Korean company website that sells Korean products, makeup products, skincare products, stuff like that, they reached out to me basically saying that we'll give you some products and then we want you to talk about them and i was like sure they're not paying me or anything they just gave me some products to review from their website and they have this on their site so i was like uh might as well try this out while i can get it for free <laughs> i saw this in korea and i swatched it and i don't know why but I didn't want to get it because it's like 40 to 50 dollars depending on where you look and I don't know a lot of things um, I found that were cheaper in Korea but this was definitely not one of them it's just as expensive online as it is in Korea so I mean that's good but um, I just wasn't willing to spend that much money on it just like this palette now that I had the chance to actually use it the color that I'm gonna be using is the Pantone 729 color right here and you can use your fingers but my nails are really long so I'm going to be using a brush but that doesn't mean you have to use a brush I'm just going to be using a small shader brush and putting that all over my lid but not too densely I don't want that color to be too pigmented if that makes sense I just want a nice wash and the glitter and then I'm gonna be taking a tiny tiny brush like this this is from morphe but it doesn't have a name on it I don't know why morphe does that so using the tiny morphe brush I'm gonna be taking the 19-1213 and I'm gonna be putting that as my liner I'm going to be putting a little bit on the outer corner. And see, I put it a lot thicker here and thinner here, just like I would do with eyeliner. And you would think it wouldn't make as much of an impact as eyeliner, but it still definitely makes the difference. 
So moving on kind of randomly, I'm going to be using that same color that I used for my eyeliner and I'm going to be using it on my brows. And then I'm going to be using this sparkly color right here, the Pantone 7520. I'm going to be putting that on my inner corner. So one of the things that I would consider to be most important to me when I'm doing my makeup is curling my eyelashes. I've already curled this one side. Hopefully you can see the difference it makes when you curl your lashes. Um, it makes a big difference for me so I definitely suggest that you curl your lashes. If you don't have to, then like, that's really amazing and I'm very jealous of you, but if you do have eyelashes that are anything like me, I definitely think it would help you look more bright and awake. See, look at that, what a big difference. I ended up using the Maybelline Lash Sensational Lash Sensational. Um, this is just a really good mascara and it's just always been there for me, you know, just I can count on this mascara. I'm gonna be using a cream blush. This is the Etude House Very Delicious in number three. I'm just gonna be applying this with my fingers. I just realized that this doesn't have a mirror, which kind of sucks, but... And then I'm gonna be using the Etude House Twin Shot Lips X Tint in the number RD302. And this side is the mousse shot, and this side is the tint shot. This is the finished look. It's not too natural, but it's not too heavy at the same time. I feel like this is what I would do just because it's pretty simple and easy. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, let me know if you have any more requests or anything like that. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!